Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Josie's Point of View, focusing on another story on life in the Carolinas. Our story today takes us to Wilson, North Carolina. Take a look at the headline. And it reads, five-year-old boy shot and killed by a neighbor. I've been following the story closely since this was first reported on Sunday evening. And I didn't want to rush to create a video. I wanted to wait for a few days to see what additional information will, would be published. So I want to tell you what I know, and I'll place a link to a few of the full articles in the description box. And today we're talking about this five-year-old handsome young man. Um, his name is Cannon Hinnett. Um, his life was cut short on Sunday afternoon. This entire incident is just really unbelievable, but it sheds light on the fact that we're living in a very cruel world today. I still have problems believing it myself, but this is what I know about the story. So around 5.30 p.m. on Sunday, August the 9th, uh, Cannon was out riding his bike on his front lawn with his two other siblings when a young man who lives next to his father's house came over into the yard, pointed a gun at Cannon, and shot him. The man then retreated back into his house, got in his car, and drove away. So immediately, Wilson police knew they were looking for this man, 25-year-old Darius Simmons, and the reason they knew exactly who he was and the car he was driving, because again, he was a neighbor, and the entire incident was witnessed by two of Cannon's siblings, age eight and seven, who were also playing on the front lawn. A neighbor across the street also witnessed what was taking the place, and she initially thought the gun was a toy gun until she saw the child's father come out and notice his reaction, and it was this neighbor who contacted 911. Emergency medical personnel treated Cannon at the scene, and then they transferred him to the Wilson Medical Center, where unfortunately, they were unable to save him. I'm sure the authorities were aggressively searching for this murderer, and I say murder because that's what he is, no alleged, he's a murderer. But anyway, they announced on Monday evening that he had been apprehended. They found him inside a house. He was hiding inside a house in Goldsboro, North Carolina. So they arrested him and charged him with first-degree murder, and bond was denied. The suspect had his, had his first court appearance yesterday. He appeared by a video conference and he was remanded in custody until August 25th and still he's there with no bond. This entire incident is just so crazy. I can't wrap my arms around it. And now you have an entire community in shock and wondering just what in the world caused this neighbor who have known this family for many years and were on friendly terms with the family, they were left wondering just what caused him to snap, to walk over to the children playing in the front lawn and put a gun to Cannon's head and shoot him. This man was a frequent visitor to Cannon's family house and he had dinner with them the previous night. So what have, could have possibly caused him to do something so terrible? And yes, the neighbor said she saw him. He ran up to the boy playing with his uh, siblings, put the gun to his head and fired it before running back to the house. It's just not making sense. And we probably would never, never understand what happened. And this does not seem as something a sane human being would do. I am just as confused as everyone else, and maybe as time goes by and there's a hearing, more information will come out, and maybe we'll get a better understanding of what, create, what, what made this man do what he did. But in the meantime, Cannon's funeral is scheduled for tomorrow. I copied this information from the funeral home's um, webpage, and right now I know the family has set up a GoFundMe account to assist with his expenses. Well, that's all I have for you right now. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about the story, and I know that you will. And feel free to share this video. And if you haven't done so already, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And if you click on this notification bell right here, you'll be the first to know whenever a new video is uploaded. I thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.